Heading west through the sleepy suburbs of Elmira, New York, a series of Gothic structures loom over the surrounding community. Founded in 1855, Elmira College was the first institution in the world to grant degrees to women equal to those of men, and became known as the mother of women's colleges. Every autumn, as students return, and the nights become longer and colder, they share their encounters with the unexplained in hush whispers. The imposing structure of Tompkins Hall, an all-female dorm built in 1926, is the epicenter of many strange tales told and retold on campus. I've lived on the fourth floor since this last spring, and uh, Tompkins is notorious for being haunted. The rooms in the building, are you kind of walk in and you get a, a creepy vibe to them. You look down the corridor of the hallway and it's like out of a horror movie. Um, all, all the floors like creak and I've also talked to many of my residents who hear voices in the hallway or when they're up studying late at night or sleeping, they'll hear strange noises. And there's reportedly a ghost named Mary living on the fourth floor who used to be a student here and died in the building in like a tragic accident. And so a lot of people have experienced her or believe that it's her who's haunting her, them on the floor. Mary is said to appear in mirrors and this may happen especially late at night when students are all alone. They just happen to glance into a mirror, maybe out of the corner of their eyes, they may see the ghost of Mary hovering there. But she's not just a troublemaking ghost, she's also a very positive, helpful presence. And students say that if they need some help, they may just call on Mary and she'll come and, and try to help them out and make them feel not alone when they're under stress from studying. Does the ghost of Mary still haunt the hallways of her former dorm? Or are these stories merely the product of nervous students and their overactive imaginations? Brave souls in search of the answer can wander among the historic buildings at Elmira College for themselves. Perhaps, though, it might be better not to go alone. There is more haunted history for you to explore. Click on the links below to watch more clips or visit our website if you dare.